Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. In one of my previous videos I had a look at the input or button to pixel lag in Overwatch and quite a few of you asked if I could also test how much more input lag you get when you run a game in windowed or borderless windowed mode instead of full screen, as well as how much input lag is added by triple buffering. So right after I got back from my vacation I began to do quite a lot of tests in Overwatch to answer all of these questions and that's what we will have a look at in this video. But first we will check out the different pros and cons of these modes. When you select full screen then the game will always fill up the entire screen regardless of the resolution that you select. The game will then also use the exclusive mode which decreases the input or button to pixel lag. If you want to switch to a different application like Skype, Teamspeak or a server administration tool without closing the game then you can use the key combination Alt Tab which will minimize the game. The downside is that the whole process of getting out and back into the game takes quite some time which is annoying. However the much bigger problem is that many games do not support this very well. Some games will simply crash when you try to alt tap out or when you try to get back in, while other games require multiple alt tap attempts until it finally minimizes. Windowed mode does not suffer from any of these issues and you can also change the size of the window. However even when you maximize it then the game will still not fill your entire screen, but that's what borderless windowed mode is for. Sadly windowed mode also has a few downsides. It does not use exclusive mode which means that you will experience higher input lag and lower frame rates. Also if you use more than one monitor then you will notice that the mouse cursor is not limited to the window of the game which can be very annoying especially in real time strategy games. However some games do have an option that prevents the mouse cursor from leaving the game in windowed mode. So if you have that problem then you should check the options menu for such a setting. What is also important for those of you who use VSync on a 144Hz monitor is that windowed mode uses the refresh rate of the desktop. So when the game runs in full screen then it changes the refresh rate of the monitor. In this case I have selected 144Hz which then leads to VSync locking the frame rate to about 144. When you change to windowed mode or borderless windowed mode then the game will suddenly run at 60fps even though you selected 144Hz. The reason for this is that inside the display adapter configuration the monitor's refresh rate is set to 60Hz. Once we change that to 144Hz the game will then also run at 144fps. And if you disable VSync then the game will also run at higher frame rates in windowed and borderless windowed mode as VSync is not enforced in these modes. So these are the different display modes, but what I will also show you is the effect that the triple buffering option has on the responsiveness of the game. But what is triple buffering? I could spend an entire video explaining how it works exactly, but basically it's a feature that helps to eliminate tearing while not reducing your frame rate or increasing your input lag, at least not as much as VSync does. A very interesting alternative to FreeSync, G-Sync and VSync is Nvidia's upcoming FastSync, which is actually very similar to how triple buffering works, but I will talk about that in another video once FastSync releases officially and can be used without the Nvidia Inspector tool. Now how can we measure the responsiveness or button to pixel lag of a game? What we need is a high speed camera, a gaming monitor as well as an USB gaming mouse which provides a polling rate of at least 1000. Now to be able to measure the time between pressing the left mouse button and the display showing me the response to that action I simply connected an LED directly to the left mouse button. This means that the LED will light up almost instantly when I press the button. So if I record this with my high speed camera then I can count the frames between the point where the LED lights up and where I see that the gun starts to fire. So after many many hours of testing and counting frames we get the following results. The first set of tests was done without VSync or triple buffering while the game ran at 300 frames per second. At a refresh rate of 60Hz in full screen mode the longest measured input or button to pixel lag was 56 milliseconds. On average I got 48 milliseconds and the lowest measured input lag was 40 milliseconds. When we now look at the results from windowed mode and borderless windowed mode then we can clearly see that the input lag increases by about 30 milliseconds which are nearly 2 frames at 60Hz. The next set of results shows us the effect that triple buffering has on the responsiveness of the game, which is actually quite low especially compared to VSync which I will show you in a moment. But first we will have a look at the results when the game is running at just 60fps. So as I said before these tests were done with a refresh rate of 60Hz, which means that the monitor cannot display more than 60 frames per second. 
However, you can clearly see that running the game at higher frame rates does slightly decrease the button to pixel lag. That's because some aspects of games like processing of input data is often linked to the frame rate. With enabled triple buffering, we also see a similar small increase in the input lag at 60 FPS, as we've seen in the previous test at 300 frames per second, where windowed and borderless windowed mode also have about 30 milliseconds more input lag than full screen mode. Where things then start to look a bit different is when you enable vSync. Now there's next to no difference between triple buffering on and off and the difference between full screen and windowed mode as well as borderless windowed mode is much smaller than without vSync. But we got more than 120 milliseconds of input lag now. So what can we learn from these results? Windowed mode and borderless windowed mode decrease the responsiveness of the game as they increase the input or button to pixel lag. Triple buffering has a very small impact on responsiveness of the game while it helps to prevent the tearing issue. And vSync should be avoided as it drastically limits your frame rate and introduces a lot of input lag. So if you like this kind of videos where I take a closer look at how certain aspects of video games work and how they affect your experience, then please consider to support me through Patreon, as that is really the only way to keep a channel alive that provides you with that kind of niche content. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a nice day and take care. My name is Chris, and this was Battle Nonsense.